spring, in case you're watching our program right now with young children, what you're about to hear is graphic in nature. Here's a portion of the interview. I say that I'm innocent of those charges. Innocent? Completely innocent and falsely accused in every aspect? Well, I could say that, you know, I have done some of those things. I have horsed around with kids. I, I have showered after workouts. I, I have hugged them and I, I have touched their leg without intent of sexual contact. But um, uh, so if, if you look at it that way, uh, there are things that that uh, wouldn't uh, you know would be accurate. Are you denying that you had any inappropriate sexual contact with yes, any of these underage boys? Yes, I am. What about Mike McQuarrie, the grad assistant who, in 2002, walked into the shower where he says in specific detail that you were forcibly raping a boy who appeared to be 10 or 11 years old? that his hands were up against the shower wall and he heard rhythmic slap, slap, slapping sounds and he described that as a rape. I would say that that's false. What would be his motive to lie? You'd have to ask him that. What did happen in the shower the night that Mike McQuarrie happened upon you and the young boy? Okay, we were showering and, and horsing around and he actually turned all the showers on and was uh, actually sliding uh, across the, uh, the floor and, um, and we were, as I recall, possibly like snapping a towel, a horseplay. You said a few days ago, much more is going to come out in our defense. In broad terms, what? We anticipate we're going to have at least several of those kids come forward and say, this never happened. This is me. This is the allegation. It never occurred. In fact, one of the one of the toughest allegations, the query violations, what the query said he saw, we had information that that child says that never happened. Now go on. Now, now, now. Person so until now, we were told that that alleged victim could not be identified. You have by Commonwealth. You have identified. We we think we have. Did Joe Paterno at any time ever speak to you directly? about your behavior? No. Never? No. He never asked you about what you might have done? He never no. asked you if you needed help, if you needed counseling? No. no. Never expressed disapproval of any kind? No. How do you feel about what has happened to Penn State and to Joe Paterno and to the Penn State football program and your part in it? Well, how would you think that I would feel about the university that I attended, about people that I've worked with, about people that I care so much about. How do you think I would feel about it? I feel horrible. What are you willing to concede that you've done that was wrong and you wish you had not done it? Well, in retrospect, I, you know, I, I shouldn't have showered with those kids. You know, so. That's it? Yeah, you know, I mean, that's, that's what hits me the most. Are you a pedophile? No. Are you sexually attracted to young boys, to underage boys? Am I sexually attracted to yes. underage boys? Sexually attracted? You know, no, I, I enjoy young people. I, I love to be around them. Um, I, I, but no, I'm not sexually attracted to young boys. Meanwhile, a source familiar with the state investigation of the Sandusky case tells ESPN's Tom Rinaldi that Mike McQuarrie, who you just heard was a Penn State graduate assistant in 2002, allegedly stopped that Sandusky sexual assault that he said he saw of a 10-year-old boy that McQuarrie witnessed in the showers at the Penn State practice facility. And you just heard Sandusky dispute that there was any inappropriate sexual contact during that incident. The source speaking to Rinaldi characterized McQuarrie as credible and consistent in describing the events of that attack to investigators. 
According to another report by NBC News, McQuarrie did not walk away from that alleged incident, as many have inferred from the information contained in the grand jury presentment. McQuarrie did not go to police. Instead, he told Joe Paterno and other university officials. Meanwhile, McQuarrie has emailed his former teammates from Penn State, NBC quoting portions from that email, quote, I did the right thing. You guys know me. The truth is not out there fully. I didn't just turn and run. I made sure it stopped. I had to make quick, tough decisions, end quote. For more now, we welcome any